Cupid Andrews. But yes, I am single. I'm very available because I cannot get a date to save my life. I go to the grocery store to get dates, and I end up going home with a bag of prunes. So it's tough out there. I mean, I'm on dating apps and everything, and websites, and it's just weird. I mean, I had one girl. I was on Tinder, and this girl. I work at this pizza place right now. And this girl sends me a message. She says, oh, is this a real pizza place? Or are you just trying to make me hungry? And I was like, oh, she's just flirty, you know? I'm like, yeah, it's like the Subway version of pizza. You build your own. And she's like, oh my god, that's so cool. Where's it at? And so I tell her, oh, this is the one I work at. The third message of the entire conversation between us and our lives was, can I order dick on my pizza? <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to respond to that? So after about 15 minutes of feeling violated and uncomfortable, I decide, you know what? Here's a message I can send, and either she wants me, or I'm just messing around and having fun. So I say to her, I'm sorry, our pizzas aren't big enough to fit the whole thing. But I'm more than happy to custom make one for you. She responds, oh, I was making a joke, ha ha ha, but okay. <laughs> really? I don't see how that's a joke, but I had another girl. She sends me a message that says, damn, daddy, you cute. So I said to her, you know, she wasn't that good looking, so I wasn't super interested. I know, I'm desperate, but I'm shallow, I know. <laughs> so the message I responded with was, oh my god, wait until your mother gets home and hears you've been talking to strangers online. We've raised you better than that, young lady. <laughs> but it made me wonder, how long has this, like, daddy fetish thing been a thing? Like, do you think back in, like, medieval renaissance times that there were young women being, like, traded for, like, a, a yarn of fabric and a sheep and a goat? for like to the husband and they'd be in bed with them and they'd be like, oh yes, father. Yes, ravage my soft nubile body. Um, fulfill the lust in me that only you can. Yes, dost thou like that? But then again, they probably have a lot more daddy issues because again, they were sold for a yard of fabric and a goat, so. But yeah, when, when you're single for as long as I've been single, I know mom, this is awkward for me too. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think it could be more awkward than my dad getting hit on by a lesbian tonight. <laughs> Work your magic, daddy -o. <laughs> When you're single for as long as I've been single, you lower your expectations. And last summer, I ended up hooking up with an uh, older woman who was my mom's age. She was so old, she wasn't even a cougar anymore. She was a saber-toothed cat at this point. I mean, you know, the, the fangs were dentures. It was, it was bad. <laughs> but no, it was like, what am I supposed to do? Go over there and do my thing and then say, hey, my mom crochets. You want to start a crochet circle together or something? Like, she, she would put on reading glasses and text with her iPad and be like, oh, have you heard this band before? I just found them. She didn't actually sound like that. She wasn't that, she wasn't that old. I mean, my best friend knew about it and didn't try and stop me and then decided to tell my brothers. And they thought, hey, you know what would be fun? Let's tell dad. So my dad found out, and my dad starts giving me shit, oh yeah, you're screwing an older woman, are you? Oh yeah. And so I decide, you know what, mom is on vacation, she doesn't need to know about this. Oh, you're right, I agree. Mom comes back from vacation, I'm going out, oh, I'll be, I'll be back later. Where are you going? Off to see your cougar? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? What, what do you mean? Yeah, your dad told me everything. What the hell are you thinking? What are you doing with your life? Well, I mean, you married an older man. I mean, he's as old as your mom. That, you know what? That's different. That is a different story, young like, man. So. <laughs> But, so, it, again, that it, the whole age thing was weird, because I'd look at her and she'd make references that my mom would make. The best part of this whole thing, she had a 21-year-old daughter who dated someone I went to high school with. So, you know, after the first few times, I was like, alright, the age thing's kind of weird, but when do I get to meet your daughter? 
And so, after a few more times, it's like, okay, there's no, uh, no meeting the daughter, but, and I believe that's my time. Thank you.